In this room, he's a man who needs no introduction, but here's his introduction. Executive Director of the Writers Guild East, Lowell Peterson. All right, tonight the Writers Guild of America East celebrates the power of storytelling, but mostly the power of storytellers. This is what we do every day. We have roundtables and panel discussions about really tough issues facing all of us, like TV mini rooms and how subscription video on demand is transforming the way we work. We do this through the Made in New York Writers Room Fellowship, and a big shout out to the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment and SBS. And, uh, and building power is what we do. It's about, it's what the union does, and what we're building is your power. And we're expanding that power. In the last half dozen years, the Guild's membership has increased 60%. Peak TV is only worth watching because more and more writers get Guild cover jobs creating it. We organize digital news writers and editors. We organize nonfiction TV storytellers. We organize podcast writers and producers. And speaking of organizing, check out your swag bags tonight. There's stuff in there about the Hearst organizing drive, 500 new writers trying to join the Writers Guild. Read it, wear the button, support the campaign. And as you've heard many times tonight, we brought the power of this union to Albany. And in December, Governor Cuomo signed the TV diversity tax credit. After years and years and years of struggle, we won. So once a disparity study proves what we all know, this tax credit is finally gonna put money at the point of hire, creating opportunities for women and people of color to direct and write TV in New York. And a shout out to our partners in this struggle, Directors Guild of America, and many thanks to the New York State AFL-CIO for years of stalwart solidarity and support. So of course this diversity bill is about social justice, but it's also about industry self-interest. An entertainment industry that does not reflect, embody, and represent the actual audience will not succeed. So the, the new law will have a meaningful impact on equity and inclusion, but it will also broaden and deepen the capacity of storytelling in New York. More opportunities for all writers, more jobs in New York. I want to do one last shout out, and that's to you, the members of the Writers Guild of America East. As always, you got active. You took the time to take that Amtrak up the Hudson to Albany, to call your elected representatives, to send emails, to sign petitions, we brought the union's power to Albany, we fought collectively, and we made history. So yeah, we got some Writers Guild in the house.